Welcome to Science Lab with Mrs. Keener. Hi everyone. Great job on those Rube Goldberg contraptions. I love the way you showed how forces can move things around. Very creative. Today we're going to be working with a kind of force that is not something you used in your Rube Goldberg machine. It's a kind of force that is not caused by solid objects pushing or pulling against each other. We're going to use an electric force. We're going to be working with electricity today. And we're going to work with a kind of electricity that's safer than the kind that comes out of the wall. We're going to work with static electricity. For this experiment, you're going to need some clear tape. Pull out a strip of clear tape that's about six or seven or eight or nine inches long and stick it on a clean spot on a desk or table. Fold a little tab on one end, sticky side to sticky side, because later we're going to lift it up. Smooth it out. There's the little tab that'll make it easy to lift off the table. We're going to label this one with a B. It's the bottom layer of tape. Then tear off another strip of clear tape. Put it on top of the first one. Try to line it up as carefully as you can so that it sits right on top of the bottom one. Make a little tab on the end to make it easier to lift up. I'm going to label this one top. It's the top piece of tape. Then we're going to lift both of them off of the table. Then grab the little tabs and pull the two pieces apart. Pull them suddenly. Pull them quickly apart. When you take these two pieces of tape and hold them near each other, you might notice them starting to do some interesting things. They kind of are attracted to each other, like magnets. They are electrically charged right now, so you're seeing static electricity. Because they're electrically charged, they act a little bit like magnets. Let's see if we can pick something up with these strips of tape. Take some paper, Tear it into tiny pieces and put it on your desk. Let's try to pick up those pieces of paper using our tape. First check and make sure that you're using the non-sticky side. It would not be very interesting to pick them up using the sticky side. So find the non-sticky side and hold it near the little pieces of paper. Can you pick some up? I feel like I'm going fishing. Does it work with both pieces of tape? Try the other one. Is there a difference between the top piece and the bottom piece? Try both. Remember, use the non-sticky side. Let's see if we can pick up the paper just using static electricity. Now make another set. Make another pair of strips of tape, just like the first one. Next, tape all of your strips of tape to the edge of a desk or a table. Take one of the strips of tape and put it near the other ones. Do you notice anything? Is it attracted to some? Does it repel some other ones? Does it matter if you put two top ones near each other or one top and one bottom or two bottom ones? Tell me what you notice when you share in Flipgrid. Find a plastic grocery bag and cut a strip out of it.
run your hand along the strip of plastic. This strip of plastic is moving towards my sleeve. When you ran your hand along it, you charged it up. You gave it an electric charge. Now it acts like a magnet. Can your charged up plastic pick up some little pieces of paper? Try it. Can you pick up anything else? Try it. Please take pictures or video of your experiment. Tell me what you noticed and share it in Flipgrid.